Samantha, I hope this uh, covers what you're having trouble with. Uh, right now, I've got SQL Server minimized so I could turn on my recording software. I'm going to maximize SQL Server. And I uh, have a query that I just ran where I make sure that uh, I'm using TSQL 2012. And I uh, have got some code here that I have copied from the, uh, the SQL for the course uh, instead of typing all this out. So I'm going to paste it in. And I'm going to back up here. And I want you to, to look at something. Everywhere where I have a path to a file, I'm going to have to find what that actual path is on this machine. So if I look in Windows Explorer, I can uh, go to my C drive, and I put all the code from uh, the textbook, or from this part of the textbook, in this folder. Okay, so I'm going to go to Chapter 6, and that first thing it asked for was batch processing. That is this file. So if I come up here and click in my address bar, it changes it to what the path is. Now notice it's got C colon backslash, and that's the location, the, the folder on the C drive, and then I've got chapter 6, but it doesn't include the name of this file. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to copy that to the clipboard. Then I'm going to come back to this document, and I'm going to replace this part of the code with what I just copied. Okay, and then I'm going to put a backslash after chapter 6. Well, now that should be pointing this to the right code. So that's the first one. Now let's move on down and find the next location in the document where we have a path. Okay, I've got this path to that data mining thing. Now on my clipboard I still have the path that I uh, that I copied. So I can control use control V and paste that in. Okay, let's go down to the next place where we have a path. Here it is. Okay. I'm gonna control V, replace that. Okay, let's see if I've got it anywhere at one last place. Control V. Okay, and that's it. So now if I run this, okay, I've got invalid object name DBO documents. So let me find where I've got DBO documents. Okay, there's a table that I was supposed to have created, and that was in a previous step, and I didn't do it. So I'm going to back up. And after this go, I'm going to insert the, uh, the text uh, for the uh, creation of the table. So if, I'm going to pause this video and do that, and then I'll start it back up. Okay, I'm back now, and I have included the creation of the table uh, SQL. So I'm going to go ahead and execute again. And we have success, I believe. So let me go down here. Okay, so we've got documents in the database, and we've got all of the, uh, the code for the, the documents themselves imported into it. Let me see what the next step is here. Okay, I just went back and read your email, uh, paused this, went back and read your email. I think what I've just showed you has covered what your questions are, 
and the other things that you do uh, with this should all work once you have the documents actually loaded into the database so if this doesn't help you if uh, if it's too disjointed or whatever send me an email let me know let me know exactly where you're having problems at and and I will go ahead and work out this again on the test the the midterm I'm gonna extend it uh, I'll extend it through next Monday okay so if you have any other problems go ahead and send me an email let me know